since I made a video and you know y'all know I have to get my health in order and stuff and you know it's just been a long couple of weeks so finally come back with a video sorry I'm looking this way at the screen when I should be looking right here at the camera um and you guys read right this is another story time video and this story time video is about the worst freaking weekend of my life like this weekend I'm about to tell you guys about, I haven't had, it was years ago that this happened, but I have n nothing ever topped that weekend. That was like the worst time in my life. And it even, I think it even tops me being sick because I can handle that. I couldn't handle that weekend, y'all. But it all started one weekend me and a bunch of our friends we were like you know let's go down to chicago you know because one of our one of our friends um family lived down there and they were having like a parade and all this other stuff so they were like okay let's have a weekend let's go my child was about one years old at the time so you could just imagine she's about to be 14 so this was a while ago and so we like rented we all pitched in rented a car and we drove down there and you know we we got there like it was it was really late when we decided to leave because from the city we you know my hometown of Milwaukee to Chicago is only about an hour drive so we left late you know so then that way we can you know get there late go to bed you know wake up and have the weekend you know so we left there we got to Chicago probably about like one one in the morning you know it was like it was really late and we stopped at a McDonald's because it was the only thing open because everybody was hungry and we didn't want to be rummaging through, you know, our friend's family, you know, kitchen and stuff trying to eat. So we were like, okay, let's stop at McDonald's and let's, so we ended up going to that McDonald's and stuff and, you know, we, it was warm. It was, you know, it was the summertime that we went down there. It was warm and, you know, like I had Tara with me. So we, I sat her on the hood of the car and I was feeding her McDonald's and stuff. And this is where the first like fuck up happened like of the whole weekend so we were there and this police car just comes up out of nowhere two lady officers two white lady officers and came up and just started harassing us you know like what are you guys doing out here this late at night nah, 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 nah. we're like we're at we're eating at a mcdonald's we're not even from chicago we just got here to chicago and we're eating and stuff and you know like we're trying to explain this to them and then they thought that like me and one of my other friends were getting snippy with them and i'm like you just asked a question like what are we doing here and you clearly see we have food you know like what the hell and she you know well come here you know you want to be a smart aleck da, 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 you know so i'm like okay whatever you know walked over there and then you know they were just asking some dumb questions like asking was i prostituting i'm like i have my one-year-old here i'm feeding her mcdonald's how do you how is this prostituting you know and i guess i got two you know like yeah, and I guess I got too snippy with her, and she freaking arrested me for, um, you know, I, I I don't even remember. I think it was like harassment or something, and I'm like, dude, whatever, and it was just so crazy, and you can just imagine how bad Chicago County Jail is. It's, you know, it's, it's, oh, it's, it's, oh, it's fucking crazy. So, she took me in with some other people that were in a paddy wagon and we went to the jail and the like the nice thing was about the experience there is the two ladies behind the desk they were so nice and I told them exactly what happened and I didn't have to sit in the jail cell for the night um I was able to sit with them at the desk they gave me like change for the um vending machines I was able to use the phone and it was just it was just all sorts of fucked up. So the next morning I was able to leave and the bogus thing about it is my friends had my purse. 
I was just like, holy shit, how am I supposed to find out where they were? Because I didn't know where the family lived at. So I was able to get a hold of one of them. And like one of the people that also got out of the jail with me, she gave me bus fare to get on the bus and told me how to get to a certain street that they were on. And then I ended up getting there. And then I was so happy they had took care of Tara because like I said, she was just one years old at the time. And, you know, they had fed her. They had went and bought her some clothes and stuff. And it was just like crazy so we ended up chilling with the family oh we ended up chilling with the family and everything and you know they were having a little get together like i said it was parades and everything and then you know we went through that whole day it was really fun and then um we everybody went to bed and stuff we stayed the night at her aunt's house one of my friend's aunt's house and then we ended up um getting up in the morning and we were like okay let's go eat breakfast you know before we head back to milwaukee so everybody was like okay and we had a rented like an ex a big excursion like it was a really big truck you know and we went to um get you know everybody packed ourselves up in the truck and it was like three you know like three rows and stuff for everybody to get in there so you know you know there was it was person driving person to passenger seat it was two of us in the um in the middle seats and Tara was in the back seat in her car seat so you know we were heading out to go to um, breakfast and then this was the crazy part about this part of my weekend we were going through an intersection and a freaking drunk driver runs a red light and he's going so fast he was in like a small like Prius type of car he was going so fast and went straight through the red light hit our truck we flipped over like four times and none of us were like uh, majorly injured or anything. It was like God was had like his hand over our, our car that day. And we like flipped over four times and the car was like sideways. So everybody had to climb out, out, you know, through the windows to get out the car. And, you know, I'm everybody's trying to like get everybody out and I'm reaching in the back seat. And they were like, man, we're trying to help you out. And I'm like, my daughter is in the back seat. She's in the car seat. You know, so that once I said there was a baby in the car, everybody was trying to help, you know, because the liquids inside of the car all coming out and stuff and people were afraid that you know it might ignite and stuff so I'm like trying to get her out the back seat and everybody's pulling each other out you know I, I hand her up through the window so people can grab her there was like uh, like these apartments on the side of the street that our car, car flipped over on and there was like a RN nurse so she was like a high you know high level nurse who lived there so she was out there helping everybody um, like two of my friends had like scratches all on their arms they were sitting on the side that the car had got hit on so they were like the most scratched up and stuff like that and then um, you know everybody was getting out the car so they called the ambulance and everything and like the dumb stupid shit that happened is that they put everybody in different ambulances so everybody was in a different ambulance they didn't even put me and my child in the same ambulance which is so stupid and me and her were the only two who ended up going to one hospital they sent like my other friend to one hospital here another friend to another hospital here so they like sent us all different directions and people like the the ambulance that my daughter was in was calling the ambulance that I was in because she was going nuts she wouldn't stop screaming you know because she's probably wondering who are all these people where's my mom you know so they're ha trying to have me talk on the walkie-talkie to try to calm her down and everything so they get us to the hospital they like cut off all of our clothes because they want to make sure that we didn't have like any internal bleeding and stuff like that since our truck had flipped over and everything and so they like cut our clothes up and stuff and then they realized that me and my daughter were totally fine so they like had us get clothes out of like the the you know um what do they call the lost and found boxes you know they like had us in that like neither one of us had our shoes so we were like in hospital socks and then once we were able to be discharged we didn't know I don't know where the fuck we were I didn't know where me and Tara were so they ended up like they had these like hospital vans and they took us to like the closest hotel um so then that way we can like use their facility and be able to like call whoever and and everything so i was like you know what the hell my purse and everything was in the truck that got flipped over so i didn't have like no wallet on me i didn't have my id i didn't have jack shit on me like it was i was so upset and I was so frustrated and so mad so now we're at this hotel that I didn't even know what part of Chicago we were in you know sitting there and we sat in that lobby for hours like we sat there for hours and I'm sitting there and then all of a sudden I see this guy 
he, you know, like it was a lot of business people, you know, going in and out. But there was this one particular guy who was just staring at me and my daughter when he walked out. And then he probably came back, I would say maybe two hours later. And he came back and he was like, you know, excuse me, ma'am. I've seen you and your child sitting here since I left this morning. And I was just wanting to know, is everything okay? Because I see that, you know, you guys have on hospital socks and, you know, like, you know, just all this stuff. And then I told him what happened. And he was like, oh, my God. And like, I can't imagine what you've been going through and everything. And I don't even know. I don't even know this guy's name. He never. I don't even think he gave me his name. He had, he had grabbed out his wallet and he was like, here, here's some money so you can get your daughter some clothes and get you guys something to eat. Dude, he, I think that day he had gave me like $400 just to help, just because he saw that we were in need. And I was so grateful that he had did that. I was able to go and now since I was a paying customer to the hotel, I was able to go use phones, get some food in our stomach, and then I was able to get a hold of my friend's her like her it was her i don't know it was her i think it was her her older brother if it wasn't her older brother it was like an older cousin and we got a hold of him and he was able to like gather all of us up ooh, from the different places that they had took us to and we were finally able to meet up with them but because of that nice gentleman we were able to get clothes i was able to like you know make sure that me and tara were okay before i went back home and you know like i y'all know i had tara young so during this time I was only like 17 years old so like this whole that whole fucking weekend like I swear like changed my life like I don't even think that I ever since that time that I've ever even spent like a lot of time in Chicago because like it gave me such a bad taste in my mouth because that weekend was so bad yeah I was oh, yeah I was like going on 18 but like yeah that whole experience had put such a bad taste in my mouth it, it was just so crazy like I'm like how can all this bad stuff happen all within like a couple days time like I was just like holy shit you know to be locked up in jail for my first time ever in like police handcuffs to having my first like major major car accident you know where the car freaking flipped over you know it was just like you know but at the same time you know, like, I did see some, I did meet some people who just had the kindest hearts, you know, like the guy at the hotel and some of the nurses and stuff. And, you know, it, you know, just to have, you know, all that stuff happen. Like, I, like, I just, I never want to experience anything like that again, obviously. Like, it was really bad. But I don't know if I'll ever, you know, like, sit there and be in Chicago like that again. Like, I go through there, you know, I'll go through Chicago, but I mean, the last time I was like in Chicago and stayed overnight was when I took Tara to the One Direction, con well, when we went to the One Direction concert. Yeah. And even then we were near the airport, you know, we drove through the cities for her to go there, but you know, it was just like, I think that was like the one and only time that for, since that time, almost 13 years ago, that like I stayed overnight in Chicago. Yeah. I think that was like the only time. <laughs> Yeah, like we went, we got there in like the afternoon, then it was the concert, then we left the next day. So we were there like literally overnight. So I think that was like the one and only last time since that accident that I ever like stayed overnight in Chicago. But it, yeah guys, it was so, it was so fucked up. It was so fucked up. <laughs> but thanks you guys so much for listening and listening to my, you know, worst weekend ever in my life. You know, first experiences for that and I hope I never have to experience it again. But let me know down in the comments, have you guys ever had a fucked up weekend like that? Like the worst time of your life? Like, if you guys are willing to share it, let me know down in the comments. Or if you made a video about it, link it down so I can go watch it. So I can see, you know, that I'm not the only person to have like such a fucked up weekend. <laughs> but thanks so much for watching, guys. And you know what to do if you're new to the channel. Please make sure you hit the subscribe button. Please give this video a thumbs up, guys. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.